Hey, how you doing everyone? Uh, my name is Robert. This is going to be my new YouTube channel, Robert Wolf. I'm just getting started, so I apologize if I'm not the greatest. My, I'm probably going to be all over the place in this video. Um, basically, this channel is going to cover mental health. It's going to be... I just want to help people recover from whether it's some pre depression, anxiety, um, whatever mental health challenges they're having. I just want them to see that it is possible for anyone to overcome it, no matter how far in you are. No matter what you've been through, it's you can overcome it. Anyone can do it. Trust me, I was in the worst place possible. And I never saw the light at the end of the tunnel. I never thought there was a way out of this hell. But I did it. Um, and if I can do it, any of you guys can do it, believe me. You just, just got to keep on pushing. Um, so basically, I'm going to start off. This first video, I'm just going to give you a backstory. I'm just going gonna, gonna to tell you my anxiety journey, just so you can get to know me. Um, and you can see where I'm coming from. So basically, I'll start. It started about six years ago. Is when I started having the anxiety symptoms. It started about, yeah, about six years ago. Um, I just turned 22. Uh, I just turned 28 now, but I just turned 22 at the time. And it started on a car ride. So basically, I was coming home from work one day, and I just felt really strange. Um, like a really strange feeling comes across. Like, you just don't feel like yourself. You feel like you're disconnected from the world. It's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just really weird. Um, and I was just sweating. My heart was pounding. Not only was it pounding, like, I could feel my heart actually pounding. But it was just beating extremely fast. And I just felt like I was going to pass out at any second. Like, I just, I was like, I'm going to pass out. I don't know. Like, what is going on? Am I, am I dying right now? Like, what is the deal? This is really weird. Um, so I, I pulled the car over. I stopped for about, eh, about 10 seconds. And I was like, okay, you seem fine. Just keep on driving. Um, it's probably just some weird feeling. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm sure I'm completely fine. So basically I was like, okay, just keep, just keep going. So I was driving for about 10 more minutes. And the feeling was not going away. It was not subsiding. I just, I was like, this is getting, it's getting worse, if anything. Like, what is going on? Like, am I having a heart attack? I think I'm dying. Like, this feels really weird. It's terrifying. And that's a lot, of, what a lot of people think that having anxiety is, is when they have a first panic attack, they think, you know, it's a heart attack. Because that's, you have similar symptoms to a heart attack. And also, it's, you just feel really weird. Like, you feel like you're on the edge of death. Like, you're going to die any second. And it's just... It's, it's really horrible. It's nothing, uh, it's nothing easy that you can just overcome right away. So people don't understand it because they have no idea, especially if you don't, if you've never had a panic attack or, you know, you don't know someone has anxiety or whatever the deal is. Um, people just have it thought in their head that people that have anxiety are just weak people. Just get over it. Stop worrying. That's, we're programmed differently. We can't just stop worrying. That's literally the worst excuse. That's literally the worst um, advice I was ever given is just people would just always say stop worrying. I'm like, if, if this is that easy, don't you think I would just stop worrying? Um, that would just always annoy me. But anyway, sorry, I, I got off topic. Um, so basically, yeah, I was having, I had the panic, uh, had panic attack, but I didn't know it was anxiety at the time. Um, so I called an ambulance. That was, that was my response. I'm like, okay, there's something wrong. Something's going on. This needs to be addressed. I feel really weird. I don't know what's going on but some something's not right um so they came they're like okay everything checks out your vitals are great you know you seem perfectly healthy you look you're in good shape you're young 22 man there's nothing wrong with you why are you calling the ambulance and they kind of made me feel bad about calling an ambulance and i was like yeah maybe they're right i'm being ridiculous like i've always been in good shape always been in sports exercise they're like i'm super young it's like yeah, they're right. I'm being ridiculous. But I like I just couldn't shake that feeling the entire way home. I just decided to drive home. And I couldn't shake it. I just kept feeling weird. I just kept feeling like I was gonna pass out and just couldn't control my heart and I was just I just I just powered my way home. Um just sure sheer willpower at that point. Um so I got home, it was it disappeared. I didn't feel like that at all. The feeling just completely disappeared and I was like, okay. That was really weird. I have no idea what happened, but I feel fine now, so I'm just gonna go to sleep. 
So um, when I woke up the next morning, I felt completely fine. I felt like my old self. There's nothing wrong. Okay, cool. So as soon as I get back in the car, it happens again. And I don't know. Is <laughs> It was the weirdest thing. It's like, why is this happening in my car? Why do I only feel like I'm going to pass out when I'm in my car? Like, it's not happening at any other time. What What is going on? So weird. Um. So I kept having it. Um, and then eventually I told my mom, I was like, I don't know what's up. Like, she didn't know what was going on either. So I did a Google search. Um, there's what well, I try to connect the dots and <laughs> be like a detective and don't, don't go on Google. It's always our first instinct, but if you have something wrong or something feels weird or out of the ordinary, do not go on Google. You're just going to freak yourself out and make it 10 times worse. Just go to a professional before you get any opinions there. Get a professional's opinion first. Don't freak yourself out. Trust me. <laughs> it's not fun. Um, so I got, I, I basically, I connected it with carbon monoxide because the symptoms were the same. They fit perfectly and it was happening in my car. I was like, that's it. Figured it out. That's, it's carbon monoxide. It's exactly what it is. That's why I feel dizzy. That's why I feel like I'm going to pass out. I solved it. Um, I didn't though. <laughs> um, so I told my mom, I was like, uh, can, can I take this car to the, your mechanic? Uh, just to check that there's carbon monoxide. She's like, sure, take it there. He's like, dude, there's no carbon monoxide. The car is perfectly fine. I'm like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Why do I always feel like I'm going to pass out then? Like, why am I in my car feeling like I'm going to pass out? Like, what other reason would there be? Like, you, you don't know what you're talking about. So I became a car expert <laughs> overnight. Um, I was like, okay, so... I was like, if it's not carbon monoxide, what is it? So I, I kept going, believing though that it was carbon monoxide, and I kept freaking myself out and going to the same process over and over again every way to work. Until one day, I actually, I had a panic attack at work, and I was like, uh, once I got through it, I was like, it's not the car. What is this? There's something wrong with me. So basically, I went to the emergency room later that night. I had it checked out. Um, I had to get clarification to figure out what's going on with me. Um, they did, uh, tests on my heart, on my brain, everything they could possibly do. They're like, man, you're perfectly healthy. I don't know what else to tell you. It's nothing wrong with you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? How, what's wrong? With, there's something wrong with me. What, what do you mean there's nothing wrong with me? Why am I feeling like this? This is not normal. And it just, it kind of made me mad because I was like, okay, no one's telling me what's going on. They're saying I'm perfectly healthy. I don't feel perfectly healthy. Like, I couldn't explain it. It was just annoying me. Um, so I kept doing, you know, I kept going through days, just freaking myself out. Um, oh, and then also when I was in my car, I, I, with the carbon monoxide, the funniest thing, cause it was in January. So I would literally freeze my way all the, all the way to work. Cause I would keep the window cracked open because I thought the carbon monoxide can escape. I'd be fine. So I drove to work, uh, there and back to work every day freezing. So <laughs> it was, was kind of funny. Um, yeah, but there was nothing wrong. So I was like, okay. I guess whatever. So I kept going to work and it just it just kept getting worse and worse and spiraling out of control. And then my mind just started thinking about death. It landed on death. It was like, I'm gonna die. I never thought about death before, I never considered it. If it came to my mind, I was just like, whatever. Been to funerals, you know. I was just like, I'm I'm gonna die. Yeah, you know? that's it, I'm gonna die. And I kept convincing myself every day I'm gonna die. This is the day I'm gonna die. And then it became like every second, I'm gonna die every second. And that's all I would think about images towards death, just the most terrifying stuff you can think about. It just, just would go through my brain. I just not realizing it's just thoughts, but that at the time I didn't think that I was just like, these, this is real. This is happening. I'm going to die 22 years old. This is horrible. I haven't done anything. <laughs> and I just, um, basically it just got worse and worse. So I lost that job. Um, you know, I just didn't know what was going on. And I thought back and no one actually told me it was anxiety. Like no one's like, Hey, this is what you have. You have anxiety. I was, so no one told me that. At the time. I didn't have that reassurance that that's what you have. You have anxiety. So I had no idea what was going on with me still at this point. Um, basically I did, I kept doing research and went back to Google because Google's, uh, knows everything. <laughs> um, and it was just like Google, uh, the one thing I came across was anxiety. And I was like, okay, that, makes sense and I asked my mom about it she she said she had anxiety 
and then my I found out my aunt has anxiety, my sister has anxiety, my 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 dad had anxiety. I was like, okay, this this is what I have. All these symptoms match. This has got to be it. I haven't died. So I went to a doctor saying, uh, a doctor t like near my house, smaller doctor. Uh, I said, I think I have anxiety. She's like, okay, we're going to start you on this medication. Um, I believe it was clonazepam was the first medication I took. I was like, okay, I'm going to take this. Uh, and this is all going to be better. This is going to be, I'm going to feel great. And I literally, I kept expecting like a result to happen in a day. And it's not the case. It <laughs> takes a long time to work. Um, but I was like, I need to, I need to feel better. I need, I can't go like this anymore. I can't keep doing this. Um, so it didn't, it didn't work. I, I took it, I mean, for a while and it, I felt worse. Like I just felt really depressed and I just didn't want to do anything. I, I literally felt like a zombie. I just had no emotions. I just, and I, I didn't want to keep feeling that way. So I stopped taking the medication. My family got so pissed off at me, <laughs> but I was like, this is, I'd rather feel anxious than feel nothing. This is no way to live. Um, so I kept, the journey just got worse and worse and worse. I just kept bouncing around jobs, never stayed anywhere, bounced around girlfriends. Just, I was all over the place. I ended up, what the anxiety actually ended up turning into severe depression as well. Um, because I just kept feeling like, I was like, this is never going to get better. Like, I'm just going to live terrified all the time never do anything never accomplish any goals never have any dreams never get married this is going to be my life i'm just going to be because it got to the point where i i didn't leave the house for like a week like and then and then even after i did start leaving the house i would just run home that would be my comfort space i would just run home like okay i'm home i'm safe now i'm not going to die here everywhere i don't know why but i think everywhere i'd be in public i'd be like if i die i don't want to be in public i just have the weirdest thoughts and you know, the, your comfort space, that's, you think, okay, that's, you, everyone gets a comfort space when they have anxiety. They think they're safe in that space. That's like their safe space. And they can't venture out anywhere scary because that's out of their comfort zone. That's going to trigger anxiety, which is quite the opposite. You have to get it out of your comfort zone. That's the only way you're going to be anxiety. You can't live a comfortable life because you're just going to live inside your house and be terrified of everything. That's no way to live. It's, <laughs> it's no existence to have. So basically it all just kept getting worse and worse. I had bad relationships and it just, nothing was going right. It's my life was just, it's a nightmare. Um, so basically it ended up, I ended up moving out of uh, Illinois cause I'm from Illinois. Um, and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. So I got, I need a new start. I moved in with my family over here to Michigan. And I was like, okay, I got a new fresh place. I don't have, uh, you know, the old people that were in my life when I had anxiety. I got rid of that. I got a whole new outlook. Um, no negative people. I'm going to be here. You know, so this is, this is going to be good for me. So I lived here. I've been here for about a year now. And I don't know what triggered it. One day I just got so sick and tired of feeling the way I felt. Like f constantly having headaches, constantly feeling my own heartbeat, just sweating profusely all the time. Not being able to do anything, not being able to talk to people, not being able to, to enjoy anything. There's no joy in life. So I got tired of feeling like that. So one day I actually came across someone that really helped me was Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary V. If you don't know who he is, he's amazing. He's an incredibly loyal, compassionate, um, hardworking. He, he does all the social media stuff. He's amazing. He's the hardest working person you'll ever meet. And he changed my perspective. Like I, I got interested in videos like that. Like it just, my mind shifted. I was like, there is meaning to life. Like there is purpose. And this isn't just like, you're not just living, you know, and then you're dead and just, you don't exist. Like that's no way to think about it. You're here right now. You can become amazing. You can do amazing things. You become the best version of yourself. And that's what I became obsessed with. Just becoming the best version of myself. I got tired of living like this, tired of not accomplishing anything, tired of living in, you know, in bad situations, having to live with family. It's like, I don't, this is not all I'm meant for. Like I'm meant for so much more. Like I can't keep putting myself down. And a lot of that stemmed from, uh, I realized a lot of anxiety starts from your childhood. So it's, you, you know, the symptoms come out later, but that's not actually when your anxiety starts. It starts early in life. Um, the way you, your upbringing and like your thought patterns and stuff that, that comes out later in life in symptoms. So if you have chest pain or whatever, that's from your childhood, just coming out in, in a symptom way, symptomatic way. Um, so I was always, 
you know, I had a emo horribly emotionally abusive stepfather who just made me feel like nothing all the time. Like, he was just not a good person. He would literally, every day, it was just like, you're nothing. You're never going to do anything. You're stupid. You know, you can't even pass school. Um, it's just... It was just the worst. He was just a horrible human being. And he just made me feel awful. And I took that on to my adulthood. I was like, yeah, he's right. I am nothing. I'm worthless. Like, you know, he's, it's, it's true. Like, I'm not doing anything with my life. I'm just jumping from job to job. Like, maybe I am a loser. And it's, you're, you're not. None of you guys are losers. No one's a loser. Everyone's meant for great things nobody is worthless don't ever let anyone tell you that you're worthless or you're never going to overcome anxiety or you're a loser or whatever don't let people tell you that because they will and people are just people have a lot of problems in themselves and push it on to other people don't let that you are amazing you're all capable of amazing things so just keep on going and keep on fighting you guys are all strong especially if people that have anxiety and depression have been dealing with it for however amount of time, you're amazingly strong. P anxiety people are not weak people. They're not weak-minded people. They're extremely creative, intelligent. And what they have to go through in a day just to get through, they're extremely strong. And once you guys overcome it, life becomes so easy. Once you can overcome this, nothing's nothing's a challenge. It's Everything's so easy. Like, I dealt with that every day, every second of my life. And it's like, what is this? What is, what is applying for this job? What is making this video? What is doing this? It's easy. Everything is so easy. So that's why it's just, it's, but basically it, yeah, it led me to watching the videos. Sorry, I got off topic there. Um, but yeah, it led me to making, to watching these videos. And I, another one I watched was Tom Baleu. Um, I think I pronounced that correctly. He was the, the creator of the quest bar. And just, I watch all these people's stories on, you know, their rough upbringings. He actually has a show called Impact Theory. It's great. He A lot of these people come from rough upbringings as well, just like I did. Um, he had, you know, rough childhoods and just did amazing things, became amazing people, the best possible version of themselves, um, whether it's like neuro, neuroscientists or like or neurologists or, you know, monks or, you know, just these great minds that have all these amazing perspectives on life and it gets you motivated. It's like, you know, I try to hang, I try to make those people like my friend group, basically, because they say you're the top five people you hang out with. So if I'm always watching videos with this person, it's like I'm hanging out with them in a way. So it changes your mindset. Once you change your mindset on life and showing uh, your meaning and knowing that there is purpose to life, it's, it's, everything becomes so much easier. It helps with your recovery a lot. So that's what I did. And then, you know, I also came across the anxiety guy. He's a, he has his YouTube channel as well. You should also check him out great information uh so knowledgeable he knows so much he's a cbt practitioner um he's helped me so much just watching his videos and and it made me it inspired me to do the same thing like i want to help people too i want to show people that you can overcome this you don't need to result in suicide you don't need to hurt other people you know life isn't always going to be like this you don't need to end your life there's so much greatness in life and so much so many great things you're missing out on and you you will see it will, you will overcome it. Anyone can do it. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help everyone overcome it and just live a great life, live your best possible life. So basically that, that's my story. I mean, I, I dealt with it. I was at the lowest of lows. I never thought I was going to make it out of, you know, I was bound to my house. I just didn't want to live anymore. I saw no purpose, you know, and I just, one day I just got out of it. I just got so sick and tired of feeling like that and letting thoughts control me. I'm like, no, this is my life. You're not controlling me, brain. You're not real. You're just thoughts. Like move out of my way. Cause I got things to accomplish and I'm, I'm not going to just sit here and do nothing with my life anymore. I'm going to do great things. So that's basically where I got to. I mean, I want to help everyone else get to that point as well. So that's why I made this YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be posting videos as often as I can on here. Um, I'm also going to include fitness, you know, how to get started on a diet, how to, you know, get started working out, you know, so you can physically and mentally be your best person, best version of yourself. So that's what I'm here for. I want to help everyone become amazing. We can all do it together. Um, so, you know, my channel is Robert Wolf. Uh, if you like this, hopefully you guys share it. Um, hopefully this helped you out. Don't give up. 
you know, even if you're in a dark time, I'm here for you. If you have any questions or comments, just just hit me up. Like you can comment anything. I'll answer any questions. Um, you know, you guys all matter. We all matter. We all are capable of greatness. So just keep that in mind. I love all you guys. Um, God bless. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye guys.